The forum, into its third of four yearly sessions mandated under the Pearl Program, provides early childhood educators, ECEs, with a platform to chart the way forward for the sector focusing on key areas. According to organizers, the 2024 activity allowed participants to learn about and to reflect on their particular situations with young children with Autism Spectrum Disorder or ASD. The forum simultaneously took place in the four Windward Islands with some 200 early childhood educators participating via the Zoom platform. The two-day activity, which took place locally at the Finance Administration Center, according to Training Officer with St. Lucia's Early Childhood Services Unit, Ruth Phillips Favier, concluded with each member state developing preliminary plans to act on the information shared and discussions held during the forum, including support to families with children with ASD. This is something we have been struggling with as a sector, and post-COVID, we have indeed seen a marked increase with the number of children who exhibit cognitive, sensory, emotional challenges. So the whole idea of looking at children who may, and I emphasize may, be on the spectrum, because as practitioners, again, I remind you, you cannot diagnose. You are not clinicians. Ms. Phillips Favrier advised practitioners on the correct course of action if they ever discover students who may require special ASD attention. If you think there's a child at your center who exhibits signs, behaviors that may make you suspect the child has autism, your job is to do referrals. Do not tell the parent, oh, your child have autism. Take your child there. That's not your job. I emphasize that. One of the challenges that ECE leaders have raised since the beginning of their work together on the Pearl is ensuring that ECE teachers are better equipped to support children with special education needs. The OECS Secretariat's Royston Emanuel thinks the diverse mix of professionals from the OECS as a whole will be instrumental in achieving the fundamental objective of the OECS Pearl, which is to increase equity, access, and the standard of education in all members states, especially in dealing with the growing issue of ESD. This not only highlights the urgency to act, but it actually places a clear responsibility on us, on the member states, to use the insights that we're going to glean from this today experience um, and to help uplift you know, this, you know, our most vulnerable population. International studies confirm the rising frequency of ASD impairment in Latin America and the Caribbean grew from 1 in 10,000 children in 1943 to 15 in every 1,000 children in 2015. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.